Hey everyone, Jake Wisely here from fulltimefilmmaker.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to pose a bridal party. Starting with our first pose, it's called the prom pose. And the prom pose is essentially when the bride and the groom are in the center and the bridesmaids and the groomsmen are on each side, slightly turned in, smiling at the camera. All right, so bride and groom, let's have you stay in the middle there. Groomsmen, let's have you come up to the groom and slightly turn inward. Bridesmaids, same thing, mimic the groomsmen and then have your flowers all on the same level. This one is just big smiles right at the camera. So I have my RS2 here. I have the follow mode set to PTF and a follow speed of five. And to bring this boring stoic shot to life, all I'm doing is a subtle parallax. So I'm gonna start on the left, keep it in the center of my frame. And as I walk right, I'm going to pan the camera left so that they stay in the center, but the background moves behind them. And while they're in position, I'm gonna do a few push-ins and pull-outs. The so same thing, I frame my shot, take a few steps back, and then with big smiles from the bridal party, I'm just gonna slowly walk forward, just very slowly, so they get bigger and bigger in my frame. Pose number two is called the walk. So all the walk is, you guys, Tanner and Shay, bride and groom, will have you take a few steps forward, like five feet, holding hands, but bridal party, I want you guys to scatter a little bit. So maybe a few of you take a step back, a few take a step forward. Tanner and Shay, your job as you're walking is just to be completely engulfed in each other's eyes. I just want you guys just to be looking at each other, laughing as big as you can. The rest of you are laughing at them. Again, I'll do the left to right parallax, and I'll try right to left parallax, and then I'll just try a simple pull out. Three, two, one, action. And as they walk, I'm panning left to right. Also, I'm walking backwards and tripping. And if you're gonna do it again, try different angles. I'm gonna get a lot tighter for this shot. A little bit slower of walking on everyone's part. I'm gonna walk slower too, since I'm tighter. And three, two, one, action. <laughs> Cut. Next pose is a favorite of mine. I call it the mosh pit. This pose is all about getting a good reaction out of your bridal party. So for this one, I have the bride and the groom in the center, the bridal party 10 feet back, and on the count of three, I have the bridal party rush the couple and attack them with a huge group hug. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Bridal party, this is the mosh pit. So when I count to three, I want you guys to charge the couple and your goal here is to like squish them. So your guys' goal on the ends here, you wanna push the whole group together. As for the movement for this shot, I really just do a very subtle push in. Tanner and Shay, are you ready to be attacked? Three, two, one, mosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was the content I want for the video. Just mistakes, it's not perfect, it's just organic and fun. This next pose is called the split. And this is a very stoic and very cinematic pose I've done a few times. Tanner and Shay, so this pose, you're gonna be in the center. Groomsman, I want you to stand shoulder to shoulder to Tanner, but separate by like two, two feet between each guy. Bridesmaids, same thing. Stand shoulder to shoulder, but separate by like two feet. Ladies, turn to your right, like profile shots, facing straight ahead. Groomsmen do the same. On the count of three, you're gonna be walking in unison forward. Just keep the same pace and keep the same distance between each other. And all I'm doing is a subtle push in. Three, two, one, action. Look at each other. Beautiful. The next pose is called the crosswalk. Now, like the split, the couple will be sitting in the center of the frame, while the bridesmen and groomsmen, instead of walking away, will walk past the couple and they'll cross each other. Bridesmaids and groomsmen, go on the sides here. Maybe go to that bush and maybe you guys back up where, to where Dallin is. And then you're gonna pass each other. So since there's four of us, let's have two guys be on the far side of Tanner and Shay, and then two guys be on the front side of Tanner and Shay. I don't care who. Shay, with your bouquet in your left hand, I want you to wrap it around his neck. Yeah, change hands, and then face the flowers my way. Perfect. Tanner, you're just holding your wife's waist, and then when, as they're kissing and laughing to each other, you guys are just passing by them. And while they're doing that, I'm just pulling out from Tanner and Shay to reveal. Three, two, one, and action. Walking a little bit faster. I'm just pulling out here. And 
cut. That looks so good, you guys. Moving on to our next pose actually requires just the bridesmaids. So I tell the groomsmen to go take a hike. And the goal with bridesmaids is you want them to look as beautiful as possible and also show off the dresses, the hair, and the flowers, and all those little details. So I'll have them all line up, and I'll have the flowers all in the same plane here. So that way it's just even, symmetrical. In this shot, I'll first, while they're in this pose, I'll get one push of them smiling at the camera. Just big smiles, ladies. Beautiful. And while they're in that position, I'll come to the side here and get shots and details of the flowers using parallaxes. I'll set my focus to the bride's bouquet, and all I'm doing, just doing a simple sway, no stepping, focusing on the bride's bouquet, and I'll parallax right to left, moving left, panning right to reveal the bride's bouquet. And that looks beautiful. And now while they're in this shot as well, I wanna get some natural reactions and some laughs. So ladies, while you're in this pose, I want you guys to start cheesily looking at each other and laughing at each other. Laughing at Shay for getting married. Back and forth, looking at every single one. Shay looking at all your girls. Uh, they're all just losers compared to you. You're the bride. The next pose is the flying V pull out. Now for this pose, we'll have the bride come forward and ladies, you're gonna create a V formation and make sure that you're lined up with somebody on either side and I'll have them looking down at their flowers. And when I say now, you'll look up slowly into the camera. It's a very dramatic, moody pose and looks really cool. So I'll start tight and three, two, one, look up. Oh, that was beautiful. And while they're in this pose, big smiles at me while I push in. Beautiful. And then this time when you look up, ladies, huge smiles. Okay, three, two, one, looking up. Big smiles, looking at each other now, laughing. Like, that was a fun pose. I love it. I love it. And I'll do that same pose with the groomsmen as well, and it looks really good. You can kind of see how one pose can lead to like three or four different variations of that same pose just by adding a few different directions like smiling, laughing, giggling, looking down dramatically, being very big with your smiles, being very small with your smiles and so forth. So with one pose, you can knock out five or six mini poses. All right, ladies, you can take a break. Move on to the groomsmen. All right, this next pose is called the Peaky Blinders Walk. The groomsmen want to look suave, right? They want to look cool. They want to look manly and tough. I'm going to start low at their feet and as I parallax around them I'll be panning up to them just walking stone cold forward so boys let's have you in kind of a flying V and a very slow walk and if you're not looking forward you're looking down all right and three two one and that's the Peaky Blinder Walk. The next pose is a personal favorite of mine and one that requires some caution, some practice, and some planning and some good direction. It's the toss. Make sure you ask the groom if he's cool with doing this pose, but it's where the groomsmen lift the groom and toss him into the air. And it takes a few tries to get some height, but it is worth every second. Tanner, come forward. So I'll have Tanner trust fall back into their arms. They'll lift and I'll tell them to start bouncing him. So you guys, it's all in the knees. Start getting the movement and then I'll get the shot, and I'll tell him to release on three. Launch him! One, two, three! <laughs> and I don't rest until we get air. And one, two, three! <laughs> That was it. <laughs> and the next pose is the cheer. Now the cheer is super fun. It gets a lot of fun emotion. I use the audio from it in every video. It's just where the couple is kissing in the center and the bridal party is cheering and going crazy on the sides. Bridesmaids, I want you cheering with your hands. Groomsmen, your cheering is just like a leaning forward, super excited. And then you're looking at the couple as they kiss. Three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah! All right. <laughs> yeah!
But you guys, that is it for posing a bridal party. Those are my top 10 favorite poses that I use at every single wedding. Again, huge thanks to our models behind us for being our bridal party for the day. If you guys wanna learn our top 10 poses for a bridal couple, we include that inside of Full Time Filmmaker, which also has a subsection called Wedding Video Pro, which has dozens of wedding specific content that you can learn from about how I shoot and edit all of my wedding films. I talk about posing, how to shoot a ceremony, how to color grade, how to price yourself and land clients. And I include multiple virtual job shadows where you can see how I shoot a wedding from start to finish. So if you're interested in learning more, we'll have those links in the description below. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed. And if you have any further questions, please let me know.